All right, what's up, guys? And today I'm going to be uh, starting a, a whole series of videos uh, that's going to be for the iPhone and iPod Touch, and it's going to be called uh, the iPhone or iPod Touch Super Mod Tutorials. Now, basically what super modding is is where you, um, you mod your device to your likings and you make it look uh, how you want to like, how you like uh, it to look. So that m basically meaning um, you can mod it however you want. So like the apps can look however you want. Um, basically everything can look uh, and uh, look and like feel how you would like it. Look and feel. I don't know. But um, okay. So let's just get started. Uh, so to get started, please can you guys just head over to my blog. Uh, tubegamer uh, dot blogspot dot com and download my toolbar. Um, if you guys haven't already known, uh, if you download my toolbar and if you subscribe to me, I will give you a shout out in the next video. So just go do that and leave a comment below saying you did that. I'll go check and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. So that's really cool. And so let's get started. So the basic uh, first thing that you're gonna need to do if you already haven't done this is you're going to need to go um, actually jailbreak your device. Now, the, now um, I'm believing, I believe uh, two months ago, there was a site that came out that uh, allows you to jailbreak your device on your device without your computer um, other than restoring your device. So you're just going to want to open up Safari and go to jailbreakme.com and the site... Uh, will be in the description, but uh, what you're going to need to do before you can do this is plug it into your computer and restore your device to its factory settings. Make sure you don't sync it uh, with your computer afterwards. And then you're just going to want to come to this site and do the slide to jailbreak. Uh, you just slide it and uh, then it will jailbreak, but I'm not going to do that right now. And so after you do that, um, then you can sync it with your computer and get all your stuff back on there. And then it should be a clean device, and it ha should have Cydia installed on it. Now, Cydia, if you guys don't already know, is what allows you to install or mod your iPod or iPhone. So, um, after you're done with that, uh, I'll go to the second step. Or you can go to the second step. The second step is basically choosing your main theme or what you'd like your iPod all to base around. Meaning, if you would like... Uh, a certain background or if you would like a certain app if you would like your apps to look this certain way then you could base your whole theme off that now there's going to be two ways of downloading themes um, the first way is if you just open up Cydia and do it the uh, regular way or if you guys don't know how Cydia works you just go into Cydia it might take a while to load because Cydia does uh, seem sometimes to take a while to load but then once it's loaded, uh, I'm just going to keep talking while it loads. But once it loads, you're just going to want to go into uh, sections or um, yeah, sections or the search tab if you know exactly what you want. And then under sections, it should there should be one uh, called themes. And then you can choose and pick from your themes. But uh, before you can actually choose and pick your themes, you're going to want to go into settings and download Winterboard. Now, Winterboard is how you apply these themes. So before you can download themes, you have to download Winterboard. So um, that is going to be the basic steps of downloading a theme. Now, there is a way to download a theme online, and I'll show you that really quick. So um, if I'm just going to exit out of Cydia and uh, open up your web browser of your choice. And uh, you can either choose from, you, there's a bunch of sites that uh, allow you to download themes uh, from their site. But the one that I recommend is www.modmyi.com. And then uh, just click enter. Link will be in the description. And uh, once this loads, uh, it's basically just, uh, there's a section in this, um, there's a section in this, website that allows you to download themes so you can go to downloads uh, scroll over that and then you can go to themes just click on that and then once this loads you'll see a whole bunch of different themes so like if you just wanted uh, your themes your your themes uh, you just click on that and then you can see all the newest themes 
So these are all the newest themes as of right now, but they'll probably be updated later on. And there is a way to, um, let's see here, there is a way to, yeah, there we go, uh, like um, total downloads, which would be like the best or the top rated. So you can sort between that and everything. And then how to get it onto your iPod? Well, you're going to need a SSH transfer. So you're going to want to go into Cydia again and uh, download OpenSSH. And then you need to go onto your computer and just uh, go to um, Google or search in my toolbar and uh, just type in WinSCP and then click go. And then it should be the first one. You just want to click it and then you can download it. Uh, so that's uh, for uh, Windows, but for um, Mac, I believe it is, uh, I believe it is, here, I'll leave a link in the description for Mac and a PC, but um, it's not, it's on the top of my head, sorry, I can't remember it, guys, but just look in the description for the Mac download, and then, um, so basically, you're just going to go into WinSCP and then type in uh, the, um, the, uh, Sorry guys, um, the it's the the user is root and the password is Alpine. So you're just gonna want to go into that and then open up your themes. Sorry, I'm not doing this with you because uh, I'm running out of time. But then you're just gonna want to go to themes and then uh, the downloaded file. Drag it into there. It'll sync up and everything. Then you're gonna want to go back to Winterboard up here or Winterboard on your iPhone or iPod. Then wait for it to load, and then click Select Themes at the bottom. And then you should see your theme. Well, I have a lot of themes, obviously. So um, it's going to be pretty... Uh, it's gonna ha You're going to have a variety of choices if you pick from Cydia. From the Mod My Eye, you have a lot of choices also, but it does take a while to actually put them on your device, so I wouldn't recommend always doing it from Mod My Eye. Um, I'd also recommend some from some some from Cydia. So this is going to be my part one, guys. Please stay tuned for part two. Thumbs this video up if you liked uh, how I did this sequence or how I'm going to do this sequence. And then part two will probably be up tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. This has been a WOM Gaming production. And please leave a comment saying uh, how, how you think I'm doing these videos. How am I doing? Am I doing good or... What did I leave out or anything like that, such as that? I'll definitely listen to your comments. I'll um, most usually 100% comment back unless it's a hating comment. But thank you guys for watching and have a great day.